So I'm sitting here thinking about a video where I can show you the instruments that I have. Like playing them. Not that I'm any good at playing, but because I have a few of them and I think that you would like to see them. But as of doing so, I noticed this particular one. From research, I've found that this is a Washburn Nexstar electric guitar, or at least in the foundation, because some person did some modifications to it. So what is wrong with this guitar then? Well, nothing really. The modifications only included cutting off parts of the body to make it smaller, simplifying the electronics and refinishing the neck. All of which could have been done better, or not at all. Including, but not limited to, putting live bullets in the slot for the neck pickup. Yes, someone stacked a row of sharp bullets and put it instead of a neck pickup. Anyways, the person kept the guitar playable, it just needs a new small E string. What I personally would have done though, is to do something about this Floyd Royce bridge. Don't get me wrong, it's fun with whammy bars and everything, but from what I understand, Floyd Royce has these locking pins at the headstock, and then fine tuning at the bottom of the bridge, and it just seems like a big pain in the butt. And I don't need any more of that right now. So today I will show you a simple way to lock a Floyd Royce in place while keeping the bridge itself for the cool cyberpunk look. Also replacing the small E string so it's playable etc. First thing we're gonna wanna open the back plate. Now, here's the center block for the Floyd Royce. In the springs, make so it can either bend backward or forward, depending on which way you're bending the note. So to lock this in place, I'm going to cut two pieces of wood that will fit super snug on both sides of the center block, pushing against the wall of the body. This way, it won't be able to move back or forth, therefore locking the center block in place. Sounds simple enough? Let's see if it actually is that. I'm going to use a scrap piece of spruce. I'm going to keep the strings on for now because they're actually holding up the bridge in its flat position and that's the position that I want to keep it in. So we'll measure this distance here, which is about 1.6, 1.7, 1.7. Seven, and then the distance in front is 0.4. I want to fill the space as much as possible, so I'm going to make them 6 centimeters. So, 6 centimeters long. First piece is the second piece. Perfect. Thank you. 
And here are the pieces. Now before cleaning them up too much, I actually need to fit them against the center block. To be able to do that, I first need to remove the springs, but before I can do that, I actually need to relieve the string pressure or else they will snap. And since I'm changing the strings all together, I might just remove them completely. There, the bridge is completely free. So what I will start with is to take the back piece There, now the bridge is locked in place, but as you see the bridge is slanted down. It's not flat with the body. I will start by shipping off this piece so it gets thinner, that way the bridge will loosen up. And then I can take the other piece and make it into more of a chisel to just clamp it in there. <laughs> There we go! Take the Floyd Royce bridge, we put it in its place in the screws, and we take the back block, place it in place, push the bridge back, and then I will take the smaller piece, and I can just about press it down. And this is as snug as I want it. <laughs> the bridge is as flat as it can be, which means that we measured good. Now, I just want to press it down as much as I can so it's as snug as possible. And there we go. It's hardly any movement at all, actually. Good! We succeeded! I'm gonna put the strings back, just because I don't want to lose any parts. <laughs> So you could do it like this. Maybe. Yeah, it was. It's really locked on there. Now it's just a matter of stringing it up.
So I'm sitting here, basically having everything from pedal board, guitar, sound recording program set up, when I realized I don't have a Firewire cable to connect my sound card to the computer. This is a bit of an anticlimax, huh? Anyways, uh, the Floyd Royce bridge is locked in place it's working very well uh, it doesn't move at all uh, so everything was a success uh, except that i don't have a cable my name is tom shiron and thank you so much for watching